No one in this country is above the law. Fake news. Shut up. Not even the president. It's a Such a nasty one. Trust fund. I told Donald Trump, we'll see you in court. Hi, I'm Maura Healy. I'm the Massachusetts Attorney General. This is an affront to the Constitution. We need more women in office. Nope. Our job as state attorneys general is to stand up for the Constitution. I think about my career and the, the, the direction that it's gone in, and I have to, to say that I could not have predicted that I'd end up where I am today. Be fearless. I had experiences along the way that changed what I wanted to do with my life. I remember being a lawyer in the Attorney General's office many years ago, and I got to bring a case against the federal government challenging the Defense of Marriage Act, which was a really discriminatory law against same-sex married couples. We deserve! We deserve! Full equality! Full equality! We won that case. It went all the way up to the Supreme Court. And I learned then about the power of the law and, and why it was important to have a strong attorney general. So many times I'm out there and I meet young people and young people from the LGBTQ community. And it means so much to me when they tell me that for them to see me in this role, they believe that more is possible. We will build the wall. We've already started planning. It will be built. Since Donald Trump took office, I've had to sue him multiple times. One by one, they are being tracked down and thrown the hell out of our country. It's been really important to sue Donald Trump and his administration when they have done things that hurt people here in our state and hurt people across this country. We sued to protect the DACA program, to stop the travel ban, to ensure that health care remained in place. We sued to stop them from purging voters from the voting rolls and suppressing the vote. We sued them to protect the environment and to stop them from rolling back important laws that are on the books. This is what community looks like. And hopefully, we'll work to make change too so that somebody else takes over the White House in a couple of years. Women helping women. Well, my mom was my earliest mentor, and I admire her so much because she really seemed to do it all. We were alone. We were a single yeah, parent no, family. You, you and dad split up, and you, yeah. were, you were 38 years old at the yeah. time with, with five little yeah. kids. When I think back on it, it was a time of decision making. And I could have, and believe me, I thought about it, just wallowed in that, that state and that grief. And then I realized there were five of you. and. Um, I needed to put one foot in front of the other. She was always there and, and always showing tremendous love and support. And, you know, whenever I got down, whenever I was afraid, it was my mom who I turned to, often in tears, who gave me the support and the strength to go forward. I'll always remember that after you and Dad got divorced, you sold your wedding ring. And, and I remember you used that money to pave a basketball court, a That's half right. a basketball court, mm -hmm. out behind the house. That sacrifice, because there was probably any number of ways you could have used that money. You were like always there and always giving us everything that we needed to allow us to, to pursue whatever it interested yeah. us. That, that was my mission. I think about all I've been able to experience in life. I'm really, really lucky, but I know that were it not for my mom and her strong, steady presence in my life, I wouldn't have had those experiences. Make each other better. Basketball is really important to me. You know, I played all the way through college and then I played professionally in Europe for a couple of years. Basketball taught me to be tough and taught me how to compete. Hey, don't ever let anybody stand in your way and tell you no. Do you understand? Working together as a team, realizing that everybody has got something to contribute, something to give, and there's a time for everybody to step up and step in. And I think that as I've set up the Attorney General's office that I, that I run, I think about it as a team, and I think about having a mission and having a goal and working together to make things happen. And so much of what I do and how I do it 
uh, comes from what I learned playing basketball. We're going to be working a lot with the business community. We're going to be working a lot with our sports teams here, trying to get the word out about the importance of making sure that we hold the line and protect civil rights here in the state. It's been really exciting to um, have the opportunity to put women in positions of power and positions of leadership because for far too long, for the last 2,000 years, we've left women out of so much of the equation. Women need to be at the table. They need to be represented in numbers far greater than they're represented. You know, we'll get better policies, we'll get better laws, we'll get better results when more women are around the table. It's as simple as that. More than anything right now in this country, we need people who are gonna to come together in common purpose for a common good and move us forward. To me, it's a lesson, and I say it to women out there everywhere. Don't wait to be asked to run. Believe in yourself and run and know that you have something really meaningful to contribute and that we need you.